I don't think any test that you ever write at school will ever have an impact on your life. Whether it's your NSC, your matric finals, your SATs. And if you are a person that stresses or panics about tests, it means that you care about the small things, the micro things in life. And this can interpret or translate into your life in your 20s, 30s, 40s and 50s. And you might start worrying about other people's opinions, your boss's opinions, getting a loan, and you're just gonna start worrying about the micro things in life. And this will turn you into a stress machine your entire life. Worrying about your kids, what school your kids go to, your kids' awards, just the micro things in life. And it's a big vulnerability for someone. And I think as soon as you stop stressing and panicking about tests, it's the start to actually finding and navigating a happier life. And Prince EA said it best, are schools really preparing us for the future? Because in the future, most jobs or workplaces are gonna be automated by artificial intelligence, robots, machines, and those kids that are successful and succeeding today in school or university or college, they are going to have to be creative, innovative, and unconventional to adapt. And I feel this creativeness and innovation is not the sense of attention for most schools and maybe all schools. And I don't think it's the attention at all. Most schools just focus on repetitive tasks, tests, exams, and test taking. And this does not teach leadership, creative and innovation skills at all. People may not believe this, but thousands of the world's top executives state that creativity is the best leadership skill one could have. And Albert Einstein, the true sign of intelligence is not knowledge, but imagination and creativity. Pablo Picasso, every child is an artist, but the problem is how to remain an artist when we grow up. And soon in the real world, very few to nobody will be hired because of what they can remember or what they know. And who cares about what you can memorize or what you know? We have Google, YouTube, Siri, and, and I can promise you that I would not be where I am today, past my trick with good marks in a good university course, studying what I love, um, without the internet, without online research, without Google and YouTube. Most of the knowledge that I know comes off the internet from what I've researched, sleepless nights of just sitting and researching something I want to know. And not school, university or school did not teach me any of that. What I'm trying to say is in the future, people are not going to be hired because of what they know or what they can memorize, but rather because of what they can do with their knowledge. You know, can they find solutions to real world problems and not just follow the instructions or directions that they're given from their boss? Because that's what robots do these days. And maybe that's why kids are stressing in school following these repetitive and robotic tasks. And I think it should stop or change because that's why AI and robots are taking over or are replacing people in many of today's modern jobs because not a single person, no one can do a robot's job better than a robot. And Jack Ma, founder of a billion dollar company, Alibaba.com said it best. We should not compete with artificial intelligence, but we should rather focus on building and creating unique human intelligence. And if you take a practical example, a dentist draws for the teeth, not the mind. So these repetitive knowledge tasks must be left behind. Otherwise you're going to be finding a lot of people graduating in your class straight into unemployment. No job, can't find a job. And I've seen it firsthand. Many of the top companies in the world today do not employ based on the degree you have. They employ you based on what you can do with your knowledge. And I've seen that in my own country. I've seen people with higher certificates, way less valuable than a degree, being employed over people with the degrees. Because why? They know they're more creative and more innovative with their knowledge. The old way is starting to expire. And what I'm saying is if schools continue to teach these repetitive and robotic tasks um, that they taught yesterday, they are robbing the students from their tomorrow. And I'm not saying that going to school or teachers are useless. 
quite frankly, as a teacher, you have the most important job in this world. You know, as a teacher, you save, create, you build lives and futures. And to build a child's future, as a teacher, you've got to honestly ask yourself, how do you prepare a child for a future that doesn't exist? And I don't think the answer lies in a school textbook, a maths book or a science book, but rather the mind and the heart. More passion and compassion and people with inspired and creative hearts to uplift the world and everybody in it. And I think one of the biggest factors for childhood success is not IQ, straight A's or what you can memorize, but family. And if you are not a straight A student, you are not stupid. And in my eyes, that means nothing because yes, a test or an exam may count 80% of your grade, but quite frankly, it counts 0% of your future. And kids need their parents to give them the space that they need to, to find themselves, to find happiness and to live true. And they need the love from their parents to pursue their own dreams. And there's no better feeling in the world when your own parents understand and get you. I'm not saying that school and teaching is a waste of time and that you shouldn't go to school. I think it's important, but what I'm saying is most people go to school, to college or university without a purpose. They take certain subjects, they major in certain fields, certain modules, because maybe that's what their parents told them, the course that they should study. All the student believes that is the course with the most jobs. That's where I'm going to find wealth, a good job. And without really knowing who they are or what they want and a lot of kids have the illusion in believing that a college or university degree is the golden key to success. And I'm against that because these days having a college degree or a university degree is just not enough. It's not enough. And we talk about the future and the future is created by all of us, but not with the amount of multiple choice questions we can remember and answer or the amount of paragraphs we can memorize, but with our minds, hearts and creativity. And I'm so keen, excited, motivated and passionate to try and get people to understand that being happy is better than money. And if you want to be happy, you've got to do what you love and what you want.